Presidente. Welcome back to Let's Play Tropico with me, Squawk. And when we left off, well, things are going half decent. We're becoming more efficient because I'm holding an efficiency drive to make things work better for us. I'm fixing those issues in my gameplay. Oh, wow, that just turned very egotistical and selfish. I'm sorry. I'm making things work. I'm being the thoughtful Presidente now. Yes. I'm doing is we are becoming more efficient. Those construction workers are working for me now, and they, uh, the uh, the bloody communists complain about the housing. But I'm helping now. I'm building. Yeah, I'm building the tenement. I'm, 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 I mean, I've put the housing off, but yeah, we are building the tenements now. But we are in a decent position right now. As you can see, we have plenty of bananas growing. Some of which should be now ready for export very, very soon because the banana harvest is beginning. And um, yeah. Plenty of corn growing to feed the people, wood cutting to keep the money coming in, and we've got the basics happiness going. We've got the pub, we've got the church, we've got the clinic, um, we've got the food, and now we're just building the housing just so we can get, get caught up on the housing. But I'm also going to build an extra banana farm so we could just have that huge surplus of bananas that will allow us to continue massive exports. Um, because that's what really counts. I mean, did, did we even export any bananas on that on that load there, by the way? No, we didn't, right? But we are we are harvesting bananas now. Um, some of my some of my peeps have been going around picking those bananas with their big banana baskets. So we are doing the right thing now, and they've got to regrow again. But hopefully now that the banana trees themselves are grown, it's actually gonna be a far more frequent thing. I mean, she's thinking about tacos now. I hope she didn't nick any bananas, but yeah. Those they're being dropped off in the farms like storage cupboard. I'm guessing. I don't know. I can't quite see. I mean, I don't know if a farm that has an invisible inventory, but we can never see it. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, nice little pile of bananas. So, just waiting for a team to come and pick those up, and then we can sell them for profit and mission progress and making sure the banana company doesn't break our president's legs. Um, so, you know, we're doing all the right things. Uh, meanwhile, though, construction workers, I don't know where they're at, but they need to be doing their jobs right now because um, I need to be building things again. I mean, yeah, there is one hanging around, so hopefully she is going to do the right thing and get this tenement sorted out because I can't do anything else without it because I am still obeying the one construction rule at a time thing. I mean, if I build a second construction office, then I'll do two projects at a time, but for now... I need I need farmers more than workers, so one of them has rocked up and is chopping this tree down. It's chopping you're just chopping a tree stump down, you weird uh Can't you just like pick it up with your brute strength or something? Oh well. Just gotta level the ground out, get it built up quickly, but I, this is one of those games where I can't really tell what constitutes level ground. I mean what I think is level I mean, this looks level here, but the game will probably say, fuck off, it's not level. Um so yeah. Um, actually, I think there is, is there an over, over, overlay that allows me to see what what like um, ground is, if you get what I mean. Uh, it's probably over on island or I mean, minerals, crime, liberty. Liberty sucks in the area again. Uh, government control, fishing, environment. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, leave it for now. Um, but yeah. My construction workers are working hard. An additional tenement will start getting rid of some of these shacks because we do have a bit of a shack infestation. So, yeah, I just, I just want to do that. I mean, actually, is there a list in the almanac I can see? Because I just, like, I just keep diving into this almanac, but there actually isn't one. I wanted, well, like, a list of housing. See who's living where. Because I'm I'm, I'm doing tenements. I'm, I'm keeping the rents extremely low. Just so at least I can, you know, I could just offset the cost of maintenance. Uh, I'm not making profit. I'm just, I'm just. I mean, this time I'm just going to offset costs with, with just, with just um, some, just with like, you know, just a very basic rent. I mean, actually, you know what? I, I, I should actually do the social security thing now um, because you know what? election times are coming, and just so I can keep the people on my side. And because you know what, money is actually quite good on this island for now. I'm going to, I'm going to enact uh, social security, and not special building permits. That's not the thing I wanted. Um, uh, where the fuck was uh, social security? It's here. So yeah, social security because President here is a nice. So that will give my retirees and students right away, uh, some money. So, yeah. Social security, welfare systems, whatever you want to call them. Some people like them, some people hate them, but in my mind right now, it keeps the people happy. It keeps them electing me. So why not do it? And I can afford to do it. So yeah, sod it. 
I mean, the people still be encouraged to work anyway. The social security only applies to students and to elderly people, so people can retire in peace and know they can still afford to live. People, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip these elections, by the way. Yeah, let's go for it. Right, so October 1956, I get to hold on to power for a little longer. Have an election, keep the people happy. Peter Capshaw will be my rival, and that's not a very tropical name, so I can attack him there. He's fucking Dutch. And that was, that sounded like really racist, but you know what, yeah. Fuck him, he's not tropical. He, he shouldn't be, and he's fat, but yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna amend the constitution to say only tropicans can run for election. It's working brilliantly for America right now. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not very happy. So what does Peter Capshaw value that I can nuke him on? He values food because he's fat. Uh, religion, actually, you know, this guy's overall quite happy. He's just, he's just annoyed at the job market, I'm guessing. Uh, what fa- Ah, he's a communist though, so alright. If I win over the communists, I can probably win. I can probably win, win the election. So, right. Let's have a look at our communist, our communist pals. And, I mean, the social security things probably already swayed some of them over to my side anyway. So, um. They do have, uh, quite a few detractors. But they actually do seem to have a fairly large following on this island. Definitely more than 25. So... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and win over the communists. So they're gonna be my main focus. So cheap housing, that's one thing. So we need housing, employment, fair wages, which means yeah, I really should look at income disparity. But to be honest, since I'm gonna win the election anyway, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, El Presidente doesn't have a. Has, I mean, El Presidente has a work ethic, but sometimes it can go walkabouts because El Presidente has to prioritize. Um, and happiness dropped again. That's not good at all, really. I mean, I'm winning the elections, but we need to we need to keep on top of happiness. We need to put up a, an, an additional corn farm as well very soon. I'm I'm thinking. Uh, profits were brilliant this year, but I'm guessing there just weren't that many freighters in. We need to fix income disparity. I do suspect that is because we do have a clinic that is that has just aggravated that quite a bit. So I'm actually thinking of cutting clinician wages. It's going to upset the clinicians, but in the long run, it's going to pay off just because I need to just bring income disparity down a little bit more just to win over those additional communist votes. Uh, but at least food quality is uh, increasing, so I'm happy about that. Uh, and threat to power, actually, is now quite low. The foreign power money isn't very high. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I apologize, clinicians, but your wages are being docked to 15 a month. And apparently the rebels are attacking the logging camp. I think we only had about one rebel left. Oh well, she, she can come and die at least, but yeah, and um, soldiers, if you could, like, stop her before she starts randomly, indiscriminately shooting our own citizens, that would be really helpful. Or killing our cows, I mean, that is just fucking cruel. Why are you killing our cows? Oh, come on, why did you have a heart attack, you idiot? Right, can we, alright, thank you, right, she's gone. I think she was the last one. That cost me a vote, by the way, stupid fucking rebels. I mean, I'm building these lovely tenements, so that better, that, I mean, everyone who lives in there has to vote for me. That's the law now. Still, at, le at least they don't have a uh, hard, die hard uh, voters, actually. A lot, a lot of the voters are actually quite floaty, and yeah, we beat the rebels, so uh, that's actually quite good. I have more, I, I seem to have a stronger die hard base, but there are still, there is still definitely a, considerable float within the middle, but I could easily pull some to my side with construction of tenements and stuff. I'm not going to issue any more, um, actually I probably could issue more edicts to help out. I don't want to do food for the people though, because that increases food consumption. I need to keep food consumption relatively low, just in order to encourage export of bananas, which I'm hoping- Ah, we're exporting some bananas actually, good. Perfect. Ball's in my cart now. <laughs> Making the correct progress now. We need to export a lot of bananas, but we, at least at least it's beginning. Uh, by the way, that, is that tenement getting built, or have people just forgotten to build it? Come on. I think I have more construction workers on their way over. Are you coming over to do some work? I think she's going home, actually. She's heading home and relaxing. Well, fair enough that you're relaxing. I'm only going to be nice to you because it's election season. I don't want to alienate my voter base, but um, I would prefer it if we had at least one construction worker working on... The lovely set of tenements that are not built yet because I need people living there because if people live there then you know we're gonna be you know creating like housing and stuff that's gonna make people happy and vote for me in the election because we are already halfway through the election cycle now 
Are you bringing some more lovely bananas to the uh, lovely uh, docking export place, by the way? Which is what I'm going to call it because I can't remember the name for my own stupid dock, even though I use the word docking in the word <laughs> to describe it. <laughs> oh dear, my vocabulary might be slipping a little bit. My dock workers are happy, by the way. But yeah, actually, you know what? Because it's election season, I'm going to do a slight wage increase anyway. So all uneducated workers now will have a wage of $6. But farmers will see their wages increase to $7 because they're special. So yeah. But it's going in the right direction. So $7 for the farmers now. There you go, my lovely farmers. Please, please continue voting for me in this upcoming election. Because I think you're really swell and really special. And it's because of you, El Presidente won't get murdered by a bunch of executives in, the ban in banana suits, so you know. That doesn't really seem to have increased by popularity, but it should help anyway. The average wage will increase from that, so we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with our Caribbean neighbours and counterparts. Ah, it got me a vote! I have an entire extra vote, even though I basically have enough votes anyway, but whatever. I'm just being petty. I want to wipe the floor with Peter of Nassau, because then... That should keep me strongly in power. People will remember my landslide last time and won't challenge me next time. All right, someone will have to challenge me, but hopefully if I can just keep a strong majority vote going, I will just remain, remain in absolute power and I won't have to bother like with emergency measures to increase liberty and stuff like that in order to suppress uprisings, which you get, so, you know. Political science, yo. Is it rude to drink in your Let's Play, by the way, like I am right now? Which is why I'm having random bits of dead air. I'm not drinking alcohol, by the way. I really wish I was drinking some rum, though. I've never drunk rum in my life. And by the way, I am estimated to have 70% of the vote. So there is no need to um, adjust the uh, ballots. So, you know, but, you know we, 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 can, we, can, we can hold a nice, honest election and get all the lovely benefits of that. <laughs> Hopefully someone will also have a nice, honest tenement to live in, if people could be bothered finishing it by but Thank you, you are actually finishing it. Good. Continue to do your job, because 90% is a good number, but 100% would be the optimal number for now, wouldn't it? There we go. Why are you bashing her face in with a hammer, by the way? She's not a plank of wood. Weirder. Right, is that done? Is that done? And yeah, there we go. We won. 63 to 26. Good. I can return to business of governing now. I win the election, people should remain happy and grateful for me. And a new tenement is done, so that should get rid of a few shacks now. So, I wish to construct a new banana farm now, because El Presidente commands it. Build a new banana farm just here, my friends. I should put it here. I know it's going to mean it's going to be a bit of a hike for my farmers, but by the way, Linda Diaz, leader of the intellectuals, has complained about the lack of a high school. I think I could maybe make, a, make an exception there. I think I could build a high school. Just so we can keep a nice flow of priests and soldiers just to help out here and there. So I will I will construct a high school. I won't I will only keep it working at the bare minimum, though. Because I don't really have a great need for the educated, but for now. Get that get the banana grove up and running so then we can continue to export more bananas. I wanna see how many bananas we've exported by the end of this year. See if we're moving fast enough in the right direction because you know I I know I have till the end of nineteen ninety nine, but it's never too early to win. Anyway, overview for this one. Threat to power has got even lower now that I've had a nice, healthy election victory. Average wage has increased by 3 cents. Uh, happiness has got by 1 point to 38. Still way too low for my liking, though, so we do need to continue working on that. Citizens, though, it is at the point where I need to build an additional corn farm to, in order to avoid banana consumption. Uh, tourism rating is... I don't care. Profits are a huge row this year. I mean, yeah, we have loads of money. Income disparity has dropped a little bit, but it's still very, very high. Uh, average age, say, food quality continues to increase. Uh, respect has dropped, though. That's not good at all. Uh, but, yeah, people are very happy with the demo democracy. The US and the Russians are okay with me. Um, so, yeah, and we've now exported 20 out of 700 bananas. It's not a lot, but I guess it's a start, you know, now that we're getting our first few harvests in. So, you know... It's like the little few rocks before a landslide of big fucking bananas, which will make me rich. I don't know if I should bother building roads, by the way. I honestly don't think people travel faster on roads in this game. I think they actually just travel at the same speed. I don't know. I'm watching her. And she's barely slowing down, actually, when she's, like, not on a road. So, 
Yeah, I don't really see the point of roads. I mean, I guess it's to make the island look neat, but at the same time, builders are so bad at building roads, there's no point. I might as well just go for the random clump of buildings, as usual. But I'm going to keep in, the in like, Central Pleasant. Is this... This cow just, like, does not go away, does it? But again, it seems to generate grass wherever it goes, so... It's a it's a useful cow. Anyway, is that, is that farm getting built? I see a construction worker prowling the area, so that's good. We can get a new banana grove set up. And we can begin exporting and growing more bananas. Farm's coming to drop off even more bananas, actually, so that's uh, always useful for me. I think I might build additional harbors as well. That might be a good idea. Are you going to drop those bananas off or what? That's not a banana, that's a fucking bag of corn, you idiot. You're supposed to be feeding people the bloody corn. Don't want people eating the bananas. That's not... That, 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 that's annoying. Annoying. And again, I just can't dictate for people what they're going to eat and what's, like, off limits. By the way, some of the bananas seem to be rotting. That's probably not what I wanted to happen. Because having rotten bananas is just... Well, it's rotten... Actually, I think that's rotten corn, actually. Well... Fine, that's, that's, that's the fault of the stupid farmers. If I see bananas rotting, I'm going to fucking, like, flip the... That, 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 that's not good enough at all. Right, how's that, how's that new banana growth coming on, lads? It's nearly done, actually. You guys are just now doing the correct thing by just uh, slamming it up. 46% is a fantastic number to be on. But it's not fantastic enough. We always do seek 100% completion on my buildings. Yes, we do. 96, there we go, right. Good, new banana grove done, right. Let's get a new... What is papaya, by the way? Is it edible? Because I think it is edible. Is it tasty? Is it good? Or is it crap? I don't know. Let's just build an additional corn farm. We're going to pop it up around this area again. So, uh, yeah, I'll just pop it. Actually, you know what? Let's build, let's build something else. Um, pineapples, corn... Maybe papaya would grow nicer here. Actually, it doesn't. So, right, it's going to have to be corn. Right. Get a corn farm up here, just so we can continue feeding the people, and then after that we're going to do an addition. We're going to do a high school, and then we're going to do an additional tenement because this tenement has achieved maximum occupancy. I do feel like I'm at a point now where I would be justified in building an additional construction office, just because our population is expanding, and I'm I'm now struggling to keep up. So yeah, I mean I'm not getting any immigrants, so so that kind of counters my argument. Tell you what. We'll, 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 I'm going to go for two buildings just because I want this high school out of the way anyway because I just don't really, I'm not very interested in building the high school necessarily but just in order just to keep, you know, just to keep the peeps happy this time around so we will construct a high school, I don't want to build it on top of shacks and I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, people don't know how much I'm sacrificing here, I'm avoiding bulldozing their shitty housing so, which I'm going to replace with nicer housing anyway, um... Where am I going to put this fucking high school? Alright, I think I am going to have to demolish a shack. It's going to be these two, unfortunately. I, I I couldn't have... Oh, wait, I could have... Actually, I can't avoid it. Right, fine. The high school is over here, because fuck you. Right, so there we go. We'll call it El Bicho High Schooler, and I'm only hiring one teacher. End off. You get one teacher. I don't know why the wage for... Yeah, why is your wage 11? You, 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 you're earning 10. End off. Soldiers get more because they, they defend my life. But then again, I can probably just cut their pay now. There's no rebels. So, yeah, fuck you. Just cutting your wages just to just to cut down that income disparity now. Sorry, but it has to happen. Anyway, you two get the farm done. Then get the school done. And then we'll get a new tenement done. And then I can just be safe in the knowledge that, you know, there's a bit of my heart dedicated to it and so on and so forth. However, the song goes. At least my banana farmers will get in there. Start growing more bananas now. We will... Hopefully have... I want to aim to have about 100 exported by the time this decade is through. Then, you know, we're off to a strong start. By the end of the 60s, we want to probably be shooting definitely way towards the 350 figure. Then by the end of the 70s, we want to be getting close to 700. I want this done, really, by the end of the 80s. That's sort of my personal target for beating this mission, If I, the way I'm planning it out in my head. But yeah, 100 bananas by the end of 19... Well, by the beginning of 1960, really, will be a, a way... Will be a good progress marker to show we are heading in the right direction. So we do need to continue growing as many bananas as we can. I mean, we just need to coat this area in fucking banana trees. I mean, we're, ma we're making plenty of cash out of, you know, just cutting cutting trees now. So that, that that's our basic income done now. End of. Just got to focus on the mission at hand now. I've got everything I need to be done. 
I can just now just go in for the single-minded focus, but I do need to also always keep an eye on the welfare of my people. I mean, I'm winning elections, but just winning one election isn't enough. I've got to continue winning the elections. Because happiness right now just isn't bloody budging. But average wage is going up at least. So we're up to $6.07 now. Uh, we have more citizens on the island. But at least I'm growing more corn to accommodate that. Profits weren't very high this year though. So I'm guessing there was another lack of freighters. Uh, income disparity vote has dropped very nicely down to 108%. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, but yeah, nothing really much of interest this year. And we're on 21 units of bananas. That's not, that's not good enough. We need more bananas. Like, we need to be exporting way more bananas than that. Like, that, that basically implies we only exported one unit of bananas this year. That is not close enough. And the local capitalists, by the way, are annoyed that I'm becoming a banana economy. But what's more, this mission is basically a literal banana economy. So, um, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take it in your stride, capitalists. Anyway, hopefully you lot can start exporting more bananas. Uh, I'm seeing some that are ready for harvest, actually. Or as I am assuming are ready for harvest. So, I would... I look forward to see them being harvested because we need to we need to sort that out, and hopefully the corn just gets eaten. I mean, I'm I'm guessing there's a button hidden somewhere just to dictate what gets eaten and stuff, um, but I'm just not sure what. Um, I just need to I just need to work it out really. Um, I mean, it's, it's not here. I I can tell that. Uh, we could get development aid actually off people. Uh, I don't know what we get out of that though. I'm guessing we'd get something really cool, or we could just go and praise people. But nah, I'm not. I'm not really bothered about um, trading and stuff with that. So for now, um, yeah, I just need to work out how do I stop. I mean, food quality. I mean, everyone's happy with their food at least, but I don't want people eating bananas. There must be a button somewhere to say, don't eat my fucking bananas. Like, but I'm guessing it just isn't there. I mean, I'm guessing it just isn't a, a banana button or something. Like, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just want, I just want people to leave my bananas to fuck alone for now. Anyway, how's that high school coming on? Coming on nicely? Good. We need to provide some, some high school educated jobs, actually, though. Um, once we start cranking out educated peeps. An additional church will probably go the longest way. Hopefully religious satisfaction across the island is doing okay though. Uh, I think there's a way I can see that actually. Um, beyond happiness. Um, how are people doing their religion? Overall it's actually looking quite good. So I don't think we're at a point where I need a new church. Um, entertainment though. I think I could probably use putting out some additional entertainment for the peeps. Housing though I think is the biggest one to fix. Healthcare needs looking at sooner or later. So yeah, you know what? Uh, we need more housing for definite. So we're gonna. We're, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go far. Well, I'm gonna go tenement first. So let's go tenement bananas. Tenement bananas. Tenement bananas. That's gonna be the pattern I build in. And that way, I could just absolutely fucking flood the market with bananas at this rate. So yeah. But tenement bananas. Tenement bananas. Perfect way of going about it. Because a tenement can house plenty of people. Some Looks like some people are abandoning their shacks to come live in the tenements as well. So that's all well and good. Is this, is this bloody... There we go. High school's done now. So hopefully one person comes and works here. Or I'll just, you know, just fuck it. Just fucking hire someone. Then, then that's out of my hair. Right, done. Right. Tenement next. Um, I want, We're not going to do the apartment. I know the apartment complex sounds nice and tempting. But I just want tenements. So here is the Bananaville, like fucking like out outcrop like living area look just get a bunch of construction workers building that new tenement and then I am happy with that actually you know what actually you know what I could start making profit on these houses by the way I could actually increase the rent but you know what? I'm just gonna keep the rent really low just so people remain um, happy I, I think I, I, I get the feeling if I just put rent up people will be annoyed and um, by the way, Roach Patrol actually cuts uh, cuts the maintenance cost in half, but does not do the quality any good. You know, what? we won't do that because I want I want you know I want you know the alternative to shacks to exist. I mean, what have we got, what have we got as well? Like um, we've got houses. I mean, th th yeah, those are like nice affordable houses there. Uh, luxury house, bunk houses. Yeah, I'm guessing like bunk houses and yeah, bunk houses and country houses. Uh, bunk houses probably just only a step above a shack. Condominiums, are, they look so nice, but yeah, just out of my price range. Really. Well, not well. They need electricity, but yeah. I mean, stuff like that would probably do quite nicely, and I think I probably will move to build those as we get further in the game. Maybe just if I need any additional happiness, but for now, 
So it's gonna have to be the nice, good old, reliable tenement. Like tenements, just so we can keep people. That's a relative happiness um, quota thing. Those baby bananas you're hauling. Ah, good man. Another unit of bananas hauled out. Good. We, I hope we have, have hauled more bananas this year, by the way. I think I need additional teams, so just to keep up with demand. So I, I, I will. I mean, I don't like authorizing two buildings at once, but you know what? Just because we need to keep keep the flow up. I'm authorizing the construction of a second teamster's office. One for northern bananas, one for southern bananas. There we go. I'll keep these at the same priority level, though. Let the builders choose. As long as both buildings get done, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exactly gonna like have a fucking emergency flip out over how many stupid, annoying teamsters I have. I'm just. Oh, for fuck's sake! You could have brought us some bananas, my dude. Um, but you know, as long as I am producing enough. Um, oh, by the way, two people have come to uh, learn high school stuff. But you know, as long as we are at the point where we are getting enough bananas out and about, that's what we need. I mean, that, that's all, all I really need to focus on. I just need to focus on these stupid flipping bananas. I, need, I just need more bananas than workers. Anyway, how are we doing this year? Uh, average wage went up. That's that's all well and good. Uh, happiness though, is still not moving. That's annoying. Uh, citizens uh, going up, so population continues to increase. Uh, profits, oh, they're okay this year. Uh, disparity hasn't moved. Uh, yeah, it's just actually been a very um, a stable year for us. Uh, but yeah, we only hauled out about five units of bananas this year. Not good enough. Need more bananas hauling out. I mean, we've got to be full on bananas now. We got we just got to focus on the bananas. I mean, we've had the decade now to set up. We just need to concentrate on getting as many bananas exported as possible. That is just all we can do. Just export, build, build up the welfare, house the workers, but... It's just got to be banana, 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 banana. Just got to go look on the bananas, and then also just win the elections whenever they come around. I mean, at least I'm seeing some harvesting going on, and I mean that's the important thing. I'm guessing this team strategy is very kindly hauling out some more bananas. I mean, look, look at all those bananas. I think they're actually, I think they might be bananas that have gone off. That's not good. Thing is, I can only have four farmers working at a farm at one time, so. Yeah. Unless you, unless we can. I mean, look. I know they might have gone off a bit, but can, can it we really sell them anyway and just blame them on someone else? Like, just cover it up. But yeah. I mean, as farmers get more experienced anyway, I think they just get become better farmers. I mean, what 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 do we know about them? Um, yeah. Highly skilled farmers move faster and will perform their tasks with fewer emotions. So yeah. The more skilled the farmer is, the better they are at their job, basically. They'll get bananas done faster, so, you know. And more experienced farms will start just start churning out nice volumes of bananas at a higher rate. And we just gotta, like, just basically continually add to it, just so we can... You know, everyone won't be caught up at the same level, but, you know, there'll just be a nice increase. A nice, stable, constant, if you get what I mean. There we go, more units of bananas just going out, bringing in a nice, tidy profit, though. That's, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we need, most of all, at the end of the day. And at least we're cutting down un unemployment of these weirdos who are scratching their cheeks with their weirdo unemployment faces. And just walking around with their cheap beer. They're going to become Teamsters now, at least. Are you becoming a Teamster now? I know you're unemployed, I mean... What do, uh, what do unemployed things do? Um, highly skilled unemployed folks just stir up trouble, so cool. But yeah, you should be uh, going to, to the tenement because, yeah. I mean, he's actually found a job, so... And he hopes everyone at his new job will lack... I mean, he's going on about the stupid Marley boy, but... Yeah, you know what? If you have become a Teamster, you should be going to your new office and maybe hauling some bananas for me, because... Gotta haul those bananas in order to uh, make things go right, because, yeah, look. Got some bananas there, ready to haul out whenever the next freighter rocks up, which is actually very, very soon. Just gotta keep it up, my, my guys. Just gotta keep it up. We're building a new construction office yet, yeah, actually, just because uh, we do seem to be lacking some uh, people. Um, but I think, actually, we do need to build an immigration office just to encourage a flow of additional farming workers. Because if we do start to run out of um, able farming hands, that's where we're going to start having problems. Because I can't just... I can't, you can't pay for uneducated workers. You can only pay for educated workers. So that's where we're going to start having issues. I mean, at least we have plenty Hola. of kids growing up as well. So they will... But they're, they're going to take time to grow. 
I mean, like, probably like actual real time. I mean, they probably only go. I mean, they only go up like one year at a time. Like, so. It's gonna take too long for them to mature. I mean, they'll be ready for to take over when this generation eventually dies off anyway, but. Yeah. We need to make sure we're, we are on top of that for definite. Any more construction workers in the area, by the way? Are we all coming over to build this tenement? Because I know it's still a big project, but you know. An additional tenement will get rid of more of these shacks, because there's still quite a few shacks, but we definitely have started to take some of them away at least, which is always a brilliant start for us, and you know, I'm very, very happy with that. Another boat's rocked up, so cool. It's got it's brought over a new teamster actually, so alright, I'll have him. And we've got another unit of bananas exported at least, so that always makes me happy. Uh but yeah, I just need to keep on working on this. That was it. I'm fine with kids. Get off the construction site. You know you're not supposed to play on the construction site, you stupid kids. 6% construct, by the way. That's, 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 that's not good enough. Come on, guys. I know you can do better than that. Keep generating these, well, you know, fill in my big old piss-coloured hologram. Because, yeah, I don't know why we still have these piss holograms. They don't look good and they, you know, they just ruin the area, if I'm honest. But it's still nice that our tenements come pre-stocked with graffiti. It's always a lovely feature to have as well as other things like mats hanging on the windows the very suspicious uh, puddles on the roofs the very horrible roofing material the washing lines and then the aerials and I don't know what the big red thing actually is on there I'm guessing it's a football or something that someone's lost up there so tough shit there's also a boomerang up there why do we have boomerangs lots of bikes as well but yeah I don't know how someone got a boomerang up there I mean I thought the thing was supposed to fucking come back to you Oh well. I guess it was just a very, very unfortunate person who did that. There's one of our students, by the way. Hello, student. She's a high school person. Si. Oh, si. She's called Monica Alvarez and she comes from Bananaville. That's a good place to come from. So that's going to be embarrassing to put on your CV. Where'd you come? Where were you born? <laughs> Bananaville. Oh well. I guess I'll learn to live with the embarrassment sooner or later. Right, is that thing nearly done? And by the way, the export price of bauxite has increased by 10%. Oh well, tragic. We're not going to do that anyway. I don't care about bauxite. Anyway, here's the overview for as we enter a brave new decade. As we enter the 1960s and end the 1950s. So, average wage now sits at $6.35. Not bad. Happiness is gone up to 39 Still not good enough, but hey, it's, it's at least it's increasing. That's, uh, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, we're up to 175 citizens now. Uh, total profits, not brilliant this year. Yeah, we need to work on that for definite. Uh, income disparity vote, it's dropping. I like to see that. Average age uh, now just sits pretty at 25. Food quality has just basically stayed level for quite a while now. Respect's gone up a fair level. Um, democratic, blah, 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 politics. We don't really, I'm not really too fussed about politics right now. I know another election's probably coming up very soon, but um, for now we're doing okay. Uh, but we only have exported 31 units of bananas this uh, decade. Not the strongest start ever, but we, we, we definitely need to work on that now because that is way below the target I kind of projected for myself of like 100 bananas. But I'm sure we can get more sent over as soon as we can. I mean, we are now just going to go on basically full banana focus. You know, it's going to go tenement banana, tenement banana, tenement banana. We'll only build something else if it's absolutely necessary. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Tropico, my friends, and yeah, that's our strategy. So now, next time, El Efficient Presidente will continue with his plan of tenement banana, tenement banana, tenement banana, and anything else that suddenly occurs. See you there, my friends. It never...